Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy. Reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. Okay, so I'm reading May 12th, Intimacy. We can let ourselves be close to people. Many of us have deeply ingrained patterns for sabotaging relationships. Some of us may instinctively terminate a relationship once it moves to a certain level of closeness and intimacy. You do it without even knowing you're doing it. We push away because that's scary. You might see the real me and reject me or this is getting too much. Yeah, I don't even know like the dialogue, the internal dialogue behind it, but um, subconsciously you push away and, and um, I definitely have done that in my life so we and pushing away is sabotaging so many of us have deeply ingrained patterns for sabotaging relationships some of us may instinctively terminate a relationship once it moves to a certain level of closeness and intimacy when we start to feel close to someone we may zero in on one of the person's character defects so character defect can be something uh, like you don't like oh they're so um they're messy they're slobby they're um they are lazy, they are, uh, they're so jealous. Uh, these are all things that you can be pointing a finger at someone to say like, you, and you focus on that one thing in someone um, because you are subconsciously looking for a way to, to end the relationship. And instead of looking at all the good things, um, you look at one, one bad thing and focus on it so intensely and then say, I'm out. And, and, and what you're doing is trying to protect yourself um, and so, so stop yourself from getting hurt, but then you end up being alone and, and you never let anyone get close and, you know, vulnerability and intimacy is one of the greatest gifts that we have in this, in this human experience, I think. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it's talking about. So you, uh, when it says character defects, so you, may, you, you, when we start to feel too close to someone, we may zero in on one of the person's character defects, then make it so big, it's all we can see. We may withdraw or push the other person away to create distance. We may start criticizing the other person's behavior, sure to create distance. Criticize the other person's behavior. Oh, we may criticize the other person. We may criticize the other person. Um, the other person. That's a behavior that's sure to create distance. We may start trying to control the person, a behavior that prevents intimacy. We may tell ourselves we don't want or need another person. I don't need them. Um, Oh, I don't want that. Or you could say, uh, where am I here? Um, we may try to control the behavior that, uh, that blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, we may try start, we may start trying to control the person, a behavior that prevents intimacy. We may tell ourselves we don't want or need another person or smother the person with our needs. Sometimes we defeat ourselves by trying to be close to people who aren't available for intimacy. That's when your do 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 do. That's when your detector is way off. You're choosing the wrong people, probably from childhood issues, um, mommy issue, daddy issues. Choosing something that's familiar instead of something that's good for us. We often choose something familiar instead of something that's good for us. And the familiar is from the past. It's something we've known from the past. And and if we're working through problems from the past, then we're choosing probably a problem area. Okay, so. Um, sometimes we defeat ourselves by trying to be, by we defeat ourselves by trying to be close to a person who aren't available for intimacy. People with active addictions or people who don't choose to be close to us. Sometimes we use people with particular faults so that when it comes to be, when it's time to be close, we have an escape hatch. So in, it's so to protect ourselves from getting too close. We find someone that's got a fault so that when we see the things that I've been talking about in all these videos, then um, I think that's a valid fear to be afraid that you're going to um, not be able to own your power and not be able to take care of yourselves because we're only learning now through all of this, right, how to really take care of ourselves. So we got to get strong in taking care of ourselves so that it doesn't matter um, 
um, about getting close to someone because we'll still always be able to take care of ourselves no matter what. So let me read that again. We're afraid and we're and we fear losing ourselves. We're afraid that close. won't be able to own our power to take care of ourselves. So closeness is a possibility. Closeness doesn't mean we have to lose ourselves or our life. As one man said, and one man said, as one man said, we're learning that we can own our power with people even Even when we're close, even when the other person looks like it's broken. Okay, so let me just read that last sentence again. Uh, closeness doesn't mean we have to lose ourselves or our life. As one end said, we're learning that we can own our power with people even when we're close, even when the other person has something we need. Okay, here's your prayer for today. Ah, learning how to get close to people. Oh, I've learned so much how to choose the right people in my life this last few years. Um, it's such a better experience. Um, it's so nice to learn a new familiar, learning a new familiar about being around safe, healthy people, about being around people that I can be close to people, but I and trust, but joy the bond and good 